Vlogmas Day 7 and today I don't really have much going on other than, um, let me think, other than making some lotion, I have to make some lotion today and yeah, just I guess around the house duties that you would do. So I'm making a roast for dinner today. I make that four hours early so that uh, by the time it's dinner time we can eat it and I'm going to show you guys how I do that. I have my roast in here, put some water in it the water in halfway then I put some bone marrow in here in the water and I like to put this in here because it makes this so tasty and uh, and healthy to drink so and then I also add some salt just um yeah I like to add a good amount of salt yeah, so I let it cook for four hours, and after that, we will have easy dinner. I ordered a book from Thrift Books like weeks ago, and it finally came in. I'm so excited to finally get this book. I'm gonna show you guys what it is. If you guys are looking for books, before you go to the store and buy it, look on Thrift Books, because you guys will find them for literally 80% off of a book. Some of them are brand new, but some of them are used. This one is actually a used book, but that did not bother me because I could not find this book anywhere. And this was the only place that I could find it used. One only. I've never got a book from there that looked like this. But anyways, it doesn't bother me because I really wanted to read this book. This is the book. It's Zen and the Art of Making a Living, A Practical Guide to Creative Career Design. This is a thick book, but apparently um, I, I was listening to a podcast. I can't even remember what podcast it was, but the guest had said that they read this book to find their career. And now they're just basically living and making money from what they love to do. And the host of the show had said, yes, that's the book that I read. And that's what helped me figure out what it is that I want to do. So I'm like, man, I need to get this book. So if you guys don't know, I do fashion on my Instagram and I do fashion with Sakura and Safari. And I feel like that I've, I've always loved fashion as a kid, but at the same time, I do recognize that a lot of people love fashion and enjoy fashion and love looking fabulous in clothes. So I just don't know if that's where my passion lies, I guess you would say. And also is, is this what I'm doing? Vlogging, posting on YouTube, posting on the internet. Is that where my passion lies? Like I'm at the place in my life right now where I just really want to fo focus and find the thing that, that drives me passionately so I can just go full force on that. So we will see if I'm going to like dive full force into the fashion world or um, continue doing YouTube or maybe it's something else that I just don't even know that I will uncover from reading this book so I will keep you guys updated on that journey so right now I have to make some lotion um, probably for the last couple of months I've been making lotion for Sakura and Safari for myself I haven't made my son and husband lotion that I, I got them to try yet because I'm still in the process of figuring things out so my friend is the one who actually got me into um, creating lotions. She had started a company, which is amazing. I'm going to show you guys what her company is called. Oh, I got to show you guys. This is what Safari loves to do with Mochi. <laughs> she, one day she did this all day, right? Mochi and Mochi will just sit there and let her do it. Okay, Safari, go. She, Safari's the mom and Mochi pretends to be the baby and he just sits in here. <laughs> Hi, Mochi. Mochi. <laughs> Do you like this mochi? He's like, uh... Yeah, he, see, he just lays his head on there. <laughs> and Safari just loves being the mom. And the and another baby. And oh, and you have another baby, hello. So this is my friend's company. She created Calming Beauty. She was making lotion for her husband and her son because they both have eczema. And then she decided, oh, I'm gonna start selling this stuff. So she sells lotions, she makes chapstick, and oh my gosh, she makes this cotton candy body scrub. It is amazing. It smells so good. Okay, so friends, here's my ingredients that I'm using. And I'm gonna leave in the description box two videos that I've watched that actually have helped me 
with these ingredients as well as my friend. She uses shea butter. That's why I bought this shea butter that I used in my other lotions. But these are the ingredients that I'm going to be using, except for the vitamin E. I totally forgot to buy that. But if you watch one of the videos, the reason why you want to put vitamin E is because it helps to preserve the lotion. So I've got one cup, about one cup of shea butter in here. And now I'm going to put one cup of my coconut oil. So one cup two tablespoons of grapeseed oil. I got this from Community Natural Foods in just like an organic food store. So I'm gonna put two tablespoons. And then two tablespoons of castor oil was vegetable glycerin. And since I have it, and um, one of those videos actually put this in there, so I'm like, okay, I have it, I'm gonna do that. Two tablespoons. And I'm actually gonna put some sweet almond oil in as well. I didn't write that down, but I have it here. So I'm gonna do it. So friends, it's a little bit too runny. I, I think this might harden a bit, but I, I am not sure because the other one that, the, how I made my other lotion, I did actually heat it up and I didn't wanna heat up this one. One of the videos that I watched of the girl who does not heat hers up. So I wanted to try it like this. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more of shea butter so that it's not so runny. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I like the consistency of this better. So I'm going to actually use this. Luckily, I had one of these. I'm gonna start keeping these for uh, making my lotions and stuff. But the girl, oh geez, oh my gosh. But anyways, the, in the, one of the videos that I am gonna post in the description box, she actually gave a great idea and said that she keeps these so that she can put her butter, butters and stuff like that in there. And I thought that was an amazing idea because I do go through a lot of these containers. So I cleaned it out. So now I'm just gonna use my this for my lotion, for the girl's lotion. Oh, there was a big clump in there. But, at, oh my gosh, I love this. And look at this, friends. Oh my, watch, watch this. Oh, it just makes, yeah, it just makes my skin so, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. This is the first cream, nice creamy one that I've made. But, oh my gosh. Doesn't it look good, Sakura? It looks... I'm gonna get that clump that was in here. Oh, it's, damn, ah! Oh my gosh, I'm in love with this lotion. Here, yeah, I am. Where's your dad, upstairs? Put your hands in front of here. Good boy. Oh yeah, my husband usually has dry hands. Ow! Come here for a minute. Okay, so my husband, he, his hands are, you know, a little bit, he washes his hands a lot, so they are, what, dry? Okay, we're gonna put some of the lotion. He's gonna put the, oh my gosh, the lotion on. And rub your hands. Do you need more? No, that's good. Get the lotion. See your hands, how amazing they come out. Ooh, amazing. Is it? How does it feel? Yeah, it feels nice, it glides on nice. Oh wow, it's very greasy. I did put a lot of oil in it. Ah! But I, okay, I like grease, but I think this is too greasy. What do you think? Too greasy? I mean, it feels nice, but yeah, it's, like I couldn't touch anything right now. Yeah. Friends, one thing that I forgot to put into my lotion is this lavender oil. I like to put a lavender oil in the lotion just because Sakura and Safari have a bath at nighttime and we mostly use lotion on them at night. And we all know that lavender is very calming. So this is perfect for, you know, before bedtime. But so anyways, I'm gonna put this in the lotion and I'll just mix it up. And then I have this little, well, I probably can't use it in here, but I'm just gonna mix it up in here. Yeah, I can do use it in here. The next time I make this lotion, instead of using two tablespoons of each of the oils, I'm just gonna use one tablespoon. I think I'm also just gonna use one tablespoon of the glycerin as well. Check out this huge Christmas bulb. Is it Chris, it's a Christmas bulb, Christmas ball. That I got this from Amazon. How cool is that? So I actually found this on Pinterest because I was looking for 
ideas for Christmas decorations for outside. I'm not gonna put this outside this year, but maybe I will do it next year, but it is huge. I got more here, but Mochi is scared of it. Here, Mochi, see? He's afraid of it, so I don't know where I'm gonna put it. Look how big that is, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna blow up the other ones and show you guys. Don't touch it, Mochi, okay? Don't touch it. So here they are all blown up. It looks amazing. I think this is the perfect spot for them. I'm gonna keep these here as decorations. I like it. I've been so busy lately that I haven't even been checking my advent calendar since day four. I haven't checked it. So there's these spice pumpkin latte. I really wanna smell this one. This one's Baltic Amber. This one is Gilt Pomeranda and huh, I don't know how to, I don't know how to pronounce this but I actually have this. We have this in our bathroom. We have a small one and I really like the smell of this one. Here's the candle. Um, I thought that it was silver and I thought it would match amazing with this, which it does. It does. I feel it. It still looks good. So I have this in here. So when guests come over, over I will light this up. It does smell really good actually. I just... And then we have French Cade Lavender. I did my little scent test and I personally like this one the best. French Cade Lavender, I think this one smells so good. I just wanna say that this advent calendar I feel like is a good buy, especially after using all these candles if you decide that you wanna use this as a shot glass or something else. These little glasses are so cute. Might even be a nice gift to give somebody if they are getting into candles or they love candles or if you are like me who is just getting into candles and trying out different scents, then this is definitely something you'd wanna buy. I know you can just go into the stores and do your own little smell test. I think this just makes it fun. So I am gonna put some pasta in our soup tonight because I'm really craving some pasta. So this is actually green lentil penne pasta. So the ingredients is organic green lentil flour, organic green pea flour, organic brown rice. And this really actually tastes really good. So here's what it looks like after it's done. Hello. Hi Sakura. Hi. <laughs> Sakura, can you hold this? Okay, so I'm just gonna put some soup in it. So, so here's the soup and then I'm going to just take off some meat. And Sakura and Safari really like this. Yeah, it, they think it's one of the best. I, I'm like, I like it, but I'm not, I don't like it as much as they do. My son does not eat this. He doesn't like it. It's too healthy, I guess. <laughs> Is it too healthy? There's only three. Bowls. So girls, tell the vlog. How does it taste? It tastes hot. Busting. So far you haven't even tasted did you taste it yet? Yeah, we tasted it before you. Well I know, but does this one taste like the others? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mmm, good, good, or good? Good, good. Bussin' good. Bussin' good? I don't know so what the bussin'. Five bussin. Good, good, good. <laughs> so I wanted to show you guys this cream has gone a little bit harder. I'm excited to see what it's gonna be like tomorrow, but I actually really love this cream. I'm definitely, definitely gonna be making this again. <laughs> Anyways, friends, that's the end of this vlog. I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>